it endures forever throughout generation. Come on, Life Church, give the Lord a shout of praise. And the man may be in Hawa, and the man may be in Abu, and Musabi, but hallelujah. celebrating Easter Sunday and it's, it's all about the goodness the kindness of God and it's all about his, the resurrected king sa apo ang kinabuhi. Buhi siya, amen? Yeah. Buhi siya, o kamayang siya sa itong mga buhi na pagpasalamat amen Mauna ka rin na bunta hindi siya special Sunday but every day na kinabuhi ka, ngunong buhi ka karon pinay buhi na ginoo na nagahatag o kadasig o kalikon sa apong kinabuhi as we go on sa way ni Lord dili na to siya ngayon o tagaan na huwag ka nang murag patay na pagpasalamat Amen pwede ba na to i-shake off ka na na kabog aton karon na bunta come on shake the person next to you ayan sa likod come on ina siya I'm so blessed to see you this morning ready na church one two three come on give the Lord shout Sunday, Holy Week, Lord God, is not just happened today, God, but every day sa mong kinabuhi, kinosamat at adlaw, salamat, Lord, kay imo ang kinabuhi, nagpaila o nag-reveal, Father God, sa mong kinabuhi, nabuhi, yun ka, o nabanhaw ka, o mubalik ka sa makausa, aron sa pagkuha na mo, Lord. Salamat, Lord, and we are, that you are so faithful in our lives, God. Salamat, Lord, na kung wala ka nabuhi, ginoo, ang amo ang kinabuhi, nagpabilin, nga patay, o kulipon sa sala, but salamat, Lord, because you are resurrected, God. The Christ who lives in us is resurrecting through us, with us, and in us, Father God. That's why this morning, Lord, Kwa ang abong mga hunak-hunak, ginoo, na patay ka, na naa ka dito o nagpabilin sa among past, O God. But today, this morning, God, dalhami, ginoo, sa minsay o sa revelation, Father God, that you resurrected, that the King, the Jesus that we are serving right now is living and living a life of victorious. That's why we can both be saved sa tubangan si mo, Lord God, na madinaugon mi, kay tungod na ay ni daog ka na mo 2,000 years ago. Madinaugon mi, Father God, na lito was speaking sa mga kasalpanan o kasalanan kay tungod na ay Jesus ginoo na nagpakamatay sa amo o buhi and victorious Father God and even this morning Lord God you're gonna pour up your power of resurrection Lord God and the purpose that we have we are here today God nagpamaila ginoo nga kami imong giluwas o kanina kinabuhay o kasing-kasing karong nabuntag Father God is andam Lord na muhatag sa among pinasahi nga gugma o kinabuhi diha kanimo Lord salamat Lord na gihatag o giula nimo imong bugto nga anak na si Sokristo sa amo ang kinabuhi and to Lord God, as a respond, Lord God, sa imong kamayayo, sa imong gibuhat sa mga Lord, among ihatag ang among kinabuhi, balik po lihat ka ni mo. Lord, salamat sa resurrection. Salamat, Lord, for the blessed Trinity, Father, na nagpaila ka sa mga ikaw, ang mga mahan, ikaw ginoong, ang Jesus, na nagpakamatay ka na mo. And thank you, Lord God, because of the Holy Spirit, right now, we are alive, we are revived, we are refreshed, Lord God, we are overwhelmed by your precious blood, Jesus Christ. And thank you, Lord, that as we meditate, God, and as we gather here in this place, you are the most precious person na among gina-welcome, na among gina-introduce ka ron. Walay laing na sama ni mo, walay makakumpara ka ni mo, God, walay makatumbas ni mo sa among gibuhat ka na mo, Lord God. Once and for all, you saved us, you redeemed us. Ikaw lang, O Diyos, ang among simbahon ng kalaganan, o ikaw lang ang ginailang na ginoo, na muluwas, na, 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 na banhaw, o pagbalik, pagkuha ka na mo. Lord, salamat, Lord. Here we are this morning, raising our hands, our hearts. Pasailuwa kami sa among salaman na buhat, Lord God. Purify 
purify us and cleanse us, Lord God. May we believe, Lord, that your blood never loses its power. Lord God, activate our faith right now. Pukawa gino ang tanang kaptulugun. Kapukawa gino ang tanang naluya gino. I-revive gino ang mga kasing-kasing na nasakitan. But karon nga bunta gino, we gonna focus on you, God, because we believe, Lord God, your word will give us the eternal life. Your word is our spiritual food, Father God. And your word, Father God, can change us from the inside. Holy Spirit, have your way. As we go out in this place, God, we will never be the same again. We honor you and we love you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ang tanang ni Noah sa gibanhaw sa ginawang ingon. Amen. 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 Ayaw sa kabito. Sige, before kami lingkod, ang kamustahan mo ang katapahan. Hinga siya, our King is alive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Take your seats. Wow. Our God that we are serving is great God. Amen? Amen. We want to welcome all our first timers. Wala pa ka na to ilang kinabuhi. Salamat ka ayaw sa ipag at kalimitan. And we believe God has something for you this morning. Kung sa Tanan Life Church, we do life together. Natakaroon sa whole series na to na say yes for the whole month of uh, April no, atong ma-discover ang atong pag-ingon o pagsunod sa kabubutong sa ginoo. But since this morning is a special Sunday, but actually every day is special man sa to. Amen ba mga eksuhon? Kaya buhay ang atong ginoo, kung nagbanaw siya sa nagbanaw siya, kung iya ginarevive ang atong kasing-kasing. Iyang mga word, wala yung nagkulang, kung wala yung nagsipia sa paghata sa atong ikinahangan sa matang adlaw. Amen. Every day is a special Sunday. But this morning, as we celebrate Easter Sunday, noong uban siguro karo nag egg hunt, ang uban karo na ay, na ay reflection sa bunny or sa eggs. But this, but this morning, no, away from that distraction, away from that um, preparation, tradition, and culture, the real meaning as a Christian that we celebrate the resurrected King in us, through us, and with us. Amen? Amen. The Bible makes it clear no, sa ato ang kinabuhi no, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 that Jesus resurrected and He is the most worthy to be celebrated for. Amen. Amen. Siya ang angayan. Walay connection ang Easter Sunday sa egg and sa bunny or something mga rituals and tradition sa iyang pagkabanhaw. Let's not allow the fun, tradition, to distract our focus karun na buntag because the main event is to celebrate the Christ resurrection. Amen. Resurrection. Every day. Ina mo tapat every day. Amen. Amen. So this morning, no, as we uh, go on sa ito series, I'm planning to share with you to say yes to God's purpose. But of course, it's uh, Easter Sunday. The title of my sermon this morning, are you ready? Isay andam na. Amen. Kurang hindi pa kayo. Isay andam na. Amen. Amen. The purpose and the power of resurrection. Say with me, the purpose, purpose. the power, power. Of, resurrection. of resurrection. Yesterday, no, sa among pagtapok, ikamusta na mo ang mga yung people, isa-isa na mo sila, what is resurrection? How do you define resurrection? Or sa pagkabalo nga, unsa ang resurrection? Ang uban, wala katubag. Pag mumataan ako sa inyo, unsa man ang pulong na resurrection? Pagkabatay, hindi po, pagkabanhaw. Amen? There is purpose and there is power in resurrection. Our, our, our text this morning will be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17 to 19. Lahat ng mga nagdala ng Bible, come on, kaway-kaway, naiisa na ito mga Biblia, no? Ayaw mag-focus na ito ang screen because our screen is allowed for our first timer. Pero sa tala ng mga live church, I believe dala-dala na ito mga Bible. Amen po ba? Amen. That's why open your Bible right now in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 17 to 19. And after we, we, we read that uh, the text, so let's proceed also in Philippians chapter 3 verses 4 to 11. Again, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 17 to 19. And after that, we proceed on Philippians chapter 3 Verses 4 to 11. Let us all stand. Manindog ka ikson. Pag-isip ng respeto sa ato ang ginoo sa iyong mga pulong. Are you ready? Amen. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 17. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith 
is futile and you are still in your sin. If in Christ, if in, if in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitied. And then let's go on in Philippians chapter 3, verse 4. Though I myself have reasons for such confidence, if someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Amen. As for zeal, persecuting the church, as for the righteousness based on the law, faultless. Verse 7. In verse 8, what is more? I want to be like my, my, my son going to church every Sunday. Iba na kasi ngayon, yung mga youth ang nagdadala ng mga ng parents na sa church. Ito ba yan? Kining pagka-prominente o pagkaila sa Diyos na dalang nato sa tibuok ibang himyo. Amen. Jesus Himself on the night prior to this death, the time na wala pa siya namatay, wala pa siya gikastigo, He prays for His followers saying, what? In John 17.3, si Jesus mismo sa gabi sa iyang before, sa iyang namatayon, nagampo alam sa iyang mga sumusunod kung nag-ingon siya. John 17.3, now this is eternal life. Say with me, eternal life. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Say with me, knowing Christ. Eternal life is what? Knowing God and knowing Jesus. Sabi nila, sabi most of the Christians, eternal life is just in heaven. Ang eternal life, dito rin natin na matagamtaman sa langit. Dito rin mahukoy ang tanan, kalipay, lulun na kalipay. Dito lamang matagamtaman sa langit. But I believe, while we are waiting to our King to come back again, even today and yesterday, tomorrow and forevermore, we have eternal life. Amen. Eternal life is knowing Jesus. Eternal life is not just in heaven, but the meaning of true life is having Christ, knowing Christ every day. Amen. 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 Every day, Amen. Amen. Maybe you will say, I know God. No? Kailan ko kay Lord. Balo ko sa ila, kailan ko sa ginoo, naghatag sa iyong bugto na anak ng si Sobisto. Kailan ko sa ginoo, nagpakamatay, araw na kumalubas. I know Christ. That's not what I mean. Hindi naman akong pagpasagot, karo na muntag. Because knowing Christ is having Christ. Kala na kay ginoo. Knowing Christ is all about having Christ. Having Christ and walking with Christ. Naglakaw ka, nasama ka niya. Walking with Christ and letting Him the Christ of your life. Amen. Amen. In the image and likeness, you are like Christ. Amen. Amen. This is life is all about. Apostle Paul tells that, say that, told to us this morning that I want to understand, I want to know Christ. The same also with Peter. Peter also emphasizes this point. That there is a divine power. Adulay, pinasahi nga kuso, ah no, gahom, has given us everything that we need in life. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Peter emphasizes this point that there is a divine power on our resurrected King. It says here, the godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us His in all glory. Sabi dito, verse 3, His divine power, say to me, power, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain the life and godliness through Asa, understanding Him, through the knowledge of Him who called us into His own 
glory, and excellence. Say with the knowledge. Ang atong understanding, ang atong knowledge of Him, sa pagkailan na ito, pagsabot na ito, kung, kung, kung kinsa siya, it is giving us and empowering us this morning that everything, tanan na atong ikinahanglan sa kinabuhi, even the godliness, ang pagkadyus nun, ang pagkahibalo ka niya, maghatag o gahong ka na ito. Sa tanan na ikinahanglan na ito, diha sa ilang pagkabalhaw. Also, in, also John, John makes a similar, a similar point near close to this to his first letter. Let us open our Bible in 1 John 5.20. Ingon din niya mga isuon, We know also that the Son of God has given us what? Kusgah what? Understanding so that we may know Him. Para makabalo kita who is true. Kung saan nasayot, kung saan sakto karoon na buntag, kung saan tinuod karoon na buntag, is this, that we are in Him who is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ, He is a true God and eternal life. Amen. 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 Jesus says that, John says that Jesus came so that we might know Him. On ang rasun, why Jesus revealed Himself? Nagpakita siya, Adonai flesh na nakita to reveal that He is really the true God. Amen. Amen. That in Him, there was eternal life. Amen. Ang uba nagpapakok sa cross na sakitan. Ang uba nagpapakok sa cross tong si Manasanta na hulog man. Gibalik ug taod. Ang uban na nagpalansang sa cross, nagyaw-yaw man. Sakita ko pagbutos mo ko. Nagyan kayo mga nag-trending, ala, every semana santa, gawa sa binigli at kumbiko. Ama, may nagpapako dito, pero patawad, may nagiduklat, manimog, sakit kaayo. Kaya nag-execute, execute man sila. No? Sakit sa akin sa amuban mo. Salamat, Lord. Salamat, Lord. Pasakit, padugo, good sila. But we have this kind of understanding once and for all. Only Jesus ang nabuhi, ang nabantay o nabuhi sa mga usta. Nakay na inhan, anak? Wala. This is the true God, the Son of Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Amen. The purpose of incarnation. Hindi ko kapanan na ako sa nangyayin sa iyan, anak. Pagpakataon. The purpose of the incarnation, pagpakataon, ni Jesus sa ato ah, is about knowing Him. Para makailang pa sa iya. This is the central to the gospel. Amen. The Old Testament, even the New Testament, the gospel, the letters of Apostle Paul, Peter, John, all agree that knowing God and knowing Jesus is the central, is the main focus of Christianity. That's our focus. But the question right now, Unsay kahulugan sa pagkaila sa Diyos? What does knowing God mean? Unsa ang kahulugan sa pagkaila sa Diyos? Because we get to know a person in part by being in physical presence. Tama ba po? Kung gusto ka makaila sa isa katawo, gusto na ito makita siya sa iyang physical na appearance. Tama ba po? Isod mo ka yung atlay, hindi nang kita ka sa TV pro, hindi nang nahimamat, hindi mo? Nainhan, hindi mo ba? Tama ba? How, to, how we get to know a person in a part of being in a physical presence? How we get to know Jesus? Surely knowing God, ang pagkailas sa Diyos, labaw pa kaysa pagkahibalo sa kamatawuran, bangin sa Diyos. Do you understand that? Knowing God is much more than knowing the facts about God. Amen. Itang tanan, nasayot man ka. Kabalo man ka sa nahitabo. Kabaluta sa history. Kabaluta on the third day, Sunday, actually early in the morning. That's why ganit ganina, ang mga SBC nga, kauban na ito din niya, simbahan malita lang din niya, no? Early in the morning, mojo na ang amuang, murag, naandan ba? Na musugat din ni. Musugat din ni sa, sa, uh, sa, 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 una nga ka, sa pagbidlisiw sa adlaw. Kanta na lang na, no? Sa bidlisiw sa adlaw para sa pag, sa pag celebrate sa res- resurrection. No, because it was early on that third day. 
Pero kita life church, malate pa man ta, so amo na lang i-adjust gamay. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay? So, dili na, we have to know God, not just in the facts about God. Kailan pa anak, but a knowing God is all about living with God in Christ. How we, how can we come into a deep personal relationship with God? Kung saan mo na ito pagkahibalo sa Diyos, kailangan ba na ito? Bungkalon sila? Kailangan ba na ito makita pag yun ang iyong physical presence? Kailangan ba yun mo ato ba taglayin sa ibahan para makita taglayin Diyos na mauni ang nag-resurrect? How we come into a deep personal relationship with God? How do we know God first? If we first, yes. kailangan sakto o surely that makailaka ka niya. Amen. Amen. We need to learn about God. Kailangan makaila sa ta sa Dios. Paano? Kung saon? How do we do this? Of course, you will say to me, Pastor, in part of listening faithful preacher. How do we do this? Makaila ka sa Gino uh, by attending or reading Bible or siguro attending every Sunday church services. Ama ba po? Praise God! Because of that, ginaalaw sa Gino na makaila ka sa iyaha. Amen ba? Also in part by na mga nag-witness no, sa ilang kinabuhi, testimony through life of others na di-change sila sa Gino na nabago ilang kinabuhi. Ito po yung mga learning facts. Apil ni sila. Tama ba po? Hello? Yeah. Amen ba? Makailan ka niya, oh, inaani din si Lord. Ay, inaani din siya based on the scripture because of those person. But the second thing also that we must go beyond most malabaw pa sa itong mga learning facts sa tao, sa preacher, reading the Bible every day, coming to church every Sunday. The second we must go beyond anak ng mga facts and learning is that we must cultivate our own relationship with God. Kailangan na naakay own relationship with God. Pag sinabi natin cultivate, develop. Amen? Pursue. Amen? Nurture or foster. We must pursue. We must develop. We must nurture our relationship with God. Tanang Kristuhanon, Say amen. amen. Cultivate your own relationship with God. Ang pagpangalagad sa ginoon, hindi madala sa mensahe pinaagi sa tao, lamang. Ang pagpangalagad sa ginoon, hindi madala sa pag-ampo sa mong sarili lamang o sa pinaagi sa abang tao by attending to church and prayer meeting. Masipyat pa mang gani. But it's all about cultivating, nurturing ba, ang atong personal relationship with Him. Amen. 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 Because if you know Him, if that relationship na na-develop sa inyo ha, then you will live for Him. Hello? Amen. Kinahanglan, ugmaro na to ang atong kaugalingon sa relasyon batok, batok kanina. Amen. Amen. So this morning, let us consider these three steps of cultivating our relationship with Him. Are you ready? There are three steps of cultivating para mag-nurture o ma-develop atong relationship sa Gino. Binsay gusto, Ana? Yeah. Of course, we want that. This is the first thing. The first step is putting your faith in Him. To our first time or second time, this is the first step. No? The first step of cultivating our relationship is put your faith in Him. Believing, mutuo ka that He is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Nagtuo na ang kalihukan na ato di sa ulog karon na bunta ang pagkabanhaw sa ginoo. Tinood nga na hita po o gusto na ito na siya ang mahimo sa ato ang kisingkasin na ginoo o labaw sa kanan. Amen. That's the reason why we're celebrating Easter Sunday, the resurrection. It take one place, wanting Him to make us a new creation. Amen? Mga bagong binuhat. Kasi mga bagong binuhat din niya. Amen. That's why we put our faith in Him. Putting our faith to the Lord is cultivating our relationship with the Lord. This is the second thing. A second step is spending time in prayer. 
to cultivate our relationship with the Lord. This is not my main point, but I just give you some of the point na ato ma-cultivate, ma-develop ang itong relasyon sa Ginoo. Kinsay ka ang po! You know what? Every Wednesday in our prayer meeting, now we have this, kinsay ka ang Wednesday? Amin tayo mo pray sa Ginoo na we do this type of soaking, we worship the Lord in singing, in in pondering the Word of God, and also sa mong pagpasalamat o pag-ampo niya sa iyahan. We love God. That's why we spend time in prayer. Pray alone and with others. That's the, the, the development of our cultivating our relationships. You can pray alone and also you can pray with others. Maybe you try na pray ka isa, i-encourage ta ka, pray also with others. I will invite you this coming Wednesday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. or our tea time together in prayer. In ang see you. See you. <laughs> okay, it takes you to build our relationship with the Lord. But the more you pray, the more that develop in relationship sa Gino. Amen ba? Amen. Amen. This is the third thing. The third thing is about following. Muna, muna itong series ka We say yes to God. So about following. Say yes to follow Christ. Amen? Amen. Say when we say yes. yes. Listen as you pray and read the Bible. And also, to cultivate para itong relasyon sa Gino, be willing to follow even His commands don't seem to make sense in mong pinabuhi. Tama? Be willing to follow. Ako lang sana may i-point out because ako ang series is yes. Be willing na mo-follow ka sa ginoo. Even if wala ka kasagot, asa ka pa dulong. Amen? You know what? As a tinawhanon, nagkita yung aning mga, mga mindset ko sa iba. Kailangan din na ito nga, it all, tanan din mag-make sense sa ito. Ah. Hello? Kailangan din ka na clear din kayo sa ito. Ah. Di ako tamo to. Oh. Di ako tamo sunod. Hello? Kaya tayo ng mga tao, Di natin, kailangan talaga maiintindihan natin lahat. No? Mga kita yung sahay ganyan, asa magbigay ka ng manok? Sa itlo. Nga asa magbigay ka ng itlo? Sa manok. Nga asa ang nauna sa duha? O sa doon siya nato ba, no? E o, sa kaniha? Yan ako nag-spirit spirit. Yan ang nung nag-examine ka ng asa magbigay ka ng manok. Kailangan doon, make sense sa ito. Kailangan ba ako sa may tabog sa ito, ah? Kung sa itong makita, tama ba ito? Ito na mga tao, hinaan na ito. Ano akong kamot, duha? Ano akong mama, duha po? Eh, no. Example sa itong dagway. Ano mo ginaan akong hilo? Ano di ano yung hilo? Ano wala kang bisaka? O sa inyo nga, we figure out everything ba? Tama ba po? Ito na po daw, sige daw. Kung hindi mong baba natin niyo. Sige? Kung imong baba, sige, sige, figure out na yung aling baba. Sige daw, kung ibutang sa ginawa din ay pagkulan, lumos ka. Kung sa'yo nung, eh, ang ex-sense yun eh, kung sa'yo maling tingilan niyo eh. Di ba? Kung ano wala ka, maling tingilan niyo. You know, it's natural. Nagtapad na ito lang na, wait. Ayaw, i-gogo niya yung oras ng panahon. Wala nagtuyok yung kinabuhi by figuring out the things na narats out sa itong kinabuhi. Ano ba ito? Kung sa'yo sa itong personal po, kung sa'yo yung aning po, ang aning, ang aning man. Ano yung aking taway man mi? Ano wak na may kami? Kung sa'yo sa spiritual, yung anak po, ano yung aning man mi? Ano na ay ginoo? Hmm? Ano na may ginoo, no? Kasi man lang magsugod ang itanan. Especially sa mga wala nagabasa sa Bible, si Pangita, asa ang ginoo? Ganun ba rin na lang ng church, no? Asa man din ang ginoo? Nakikita na lang ang movies, churching siya kay, pag din sa pagpagod ng Bible is, already here. Tama? Sa spiritual, sa akin nga na may ginoo. Kailangan ba kailangan ba Diyo kumusay? Yes, sa ginoo. Ano, kailangan kumusunod sa ginoo? Kung sa'yo, makuha na ako sa'yo, Lord. Kung sa'yo, banan na ako. Kung sa'yo, man ako ang surrender niya sa'yo, Lord. Asa, tama na akong ginabuhin, Lord. Kung sa'yo, ako ginoo. Hello? The question, if you know everything and make sense at ito ang tanan, kung atong pa sabtun yung tanan na nakitabo sa ito ah, Would you still believe? Hello? Kung ipakita ka nga sa ginawa sa ito, ay aning willing anak, description, definition anak, mo pa ba ta? Bili na! Would faith works? No. Definitely not. Amen. Kaya church, sometimes, the things, it won't make sense. Di na ito masabtan yung tanan, di ba? Na yung mga butang nga, yung di mo na naiintindihan lahat pero nagpapatuloy ka pa rin sa pag-serve ni Lord. Yeah. Yung hindi mo na alam saan patutunguhan pero umaasa ka pa rin kay Lord. Yeah. 
Yung nagbibigay ka kahit meron na siya, binibigay mo pa rin para kay Lord. Yung nagpaparaya ka kahit ikaw na yung nawala, nagbibigay ka pa rin. It doesn't make sense. Yung nagpapatawad ka kahit siya yung nagkasala, it doesn't make sense. But you forgive anyway. Yung nagmamahal ka at nagpapatuloy ka sa pagmamahal just like Him, it doesn't make sense. Pero nagmamahal ka pa rin. Ang pagsunod natin sa Panginoon, sometimes it doesn't make sense. It may not easy. It may not easy. Write this down. It may not easy. You may not understand it. But faith, say me, faith. But faith is trusting God when life doesn't make sense. Church, gibuwat ka sa ginaw, dinig masagtandanan. You are called not to understand, but you are called to believe. Amen? Faith matters. It's not easy, but simple. All we have to do is to follow Christ. Cultivate this relationship that we have in Him. Amen? Amen. Depend on God when His requirements seems unreasonable. God's plan is greater purpose. Say yes to it. Say, say yes. Say yes. So when we do these things, when we step up our faith, we'll be there to support you and we will see Jesus as living, risen Savior. So, karon, kung abaluta in knowing Christ, we know the resurrection, we know this life is all about, this morning, as we end this service, we need also to know the power of the resurrection. Are you ready? Amen. Dili man ka makabalo na naay gahom kung wala ka kaila, kung asa gikan ang gahom. Kung makabalo ka na kay Lord Gikan ang tanan, then kabalo ka na naigahong sa tag-iya sa tanan. The second part of a most of all desire, sabi niya sa itong main text galina, sa study text, to know the power of resurrection. No, si Paul niya does not ask God for power. You know? Instead, he asked God that he might know the resurrection power. Usay sa ito, ano? Gusto ka nun? Gusto na ito ba? Gusto na kong yan ni Lord? Special gifts, talents, skills, the power, the might, the strength to govern, to lead. Tama ba? But Apostle Paul, hindi niya hinihini kay Lord yung mga bagay na yan. Pero Apostle Paul as resurrection power. So may power pala sa resurrection. Apostle Paul first pray for the Ephesians parallels this idea. I will give you the, 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 the context later on. Okay? Declare that the Apostle Paul in the, for the Ephesians. And he used this kind of idea. Look at Ephesians chapter 1 verses 18 to 20. I'll leave that assignment as you go home. Basahan nyo ng whole chapter niya. And ang chapter 1, ano nga letter? Si Apostle Paul nag-pray siya sa mga taga-Ephesians Ephesus, that he might know these things. Ephesians 1, 18 to 20. Ingin siya dito ah, nasa, nasa statement diha ah. He's a in, incomparably, walay makakumpara ba? He's incomparably great power for us who believe. So na ay great power to those people who believe him Resurrection, which he exerted in Christ. Muna yan gi-exert, no? Na nakita nato gikan sa kamatayon sa ginoo o pagbanhaw sa iya niya. Masahari yun na Ephesians 1, 18-20. All Christians, tanan Christians, karun na buntag, sa tanan sa ato ah, all Christians have this power. You know? Gusto mo matabalawang sa nang agapong, dili gugugugu. No? Dili ka ng magic, magic. It's more than that. Are you excited? All Christians have this kind of access ba? Na wala yung nakakumpara alin na gahong. Even the riches, the power, the strength, the resurrection power. Are you ready? This is the five aspect as we consider this morning. The five as- aspect of His power. Ready? Para mahina. Are you ready? This is the first power. As Christ resurrected, He gave us the power to have sins forgiven. The power to have sins forgiven. Kinsay mga pinasayo. Hallelujah! 
Sin has a hold on all of us. Ang sala, adunay paghawid ka na kong tanan. Without God, kung wala si Lord, we are all slaves to sin. Kung wala ang Diyos, uli punta sa sala. Amen? Upon, there is hope. Sige, there is hope. Upon, but Christ through the death, tungod sa iyang pagkamatay and resurrection, pinaagi siyang kamatayon o pagkabanhaw, nagpagawas ka na ito. Gikan sa gahong sa sala. Can we give the Lord a couple of praise for that? Of course, magpasalamat kung ka ginoo at soon. Magpasalamat kung ka sa ginoo. Wala pa kung si Lord na naman makasasala ka. But we are God from slave to sin. Right now, we are slave from His grace. But Christ through the death of His resurrection, nagpagawas ka na ito, gikan sa gawang sa sala. Amen? Romans 4.25 says, He was delivered over the death because of our sin. Wow. Amen? Grabe si Lord, no? He was delivered over the death. Why? Para sa ato, ah. Kabayaran sa itong sala. And grace. See that kind of statement? Wala nagbundang liha. Kita ka ng kama niya. Di ba? Over the death because of our sin. And, say with me, and speaks about hope. And grace to life because of our justification. The resurrection gives us justification. Amen? Amen. It justified us sa ginoo. Praise God. Amen. Kaya siya na-resurrect para ma-justify ta being nothing into something. Being in persecuted, persecuted person. Or if he is not raised from the dead, kung wala na banhaw ang ato ang Diyos na ginasimba ka ron, gikan sa kamatayon, walay gahong na atong nakuha and even natamasa even up to this day. If napabili ng atong ginoo si Jesus Christ na napatay dito sa kalbaryo, sa cross sa kalbaryo, then walay gahong o wala ta karon na banhaw gikan sa ato ang pagkaulipon sa sala o ngagto sa pagkakapagka pagkaroon o kinabuhi walay katapusan o kinabuhi na angayan diya sa iyang atubangan. Amen. Amen. His words might have some influence, but He Himself has no power if Jesus remained defeated on the grave. Amen. This is why and the reason of resurrection, mga Iksoon, it is the central focus sa mga Kristuhan nun. And even sa ato karong nga buntar, our central focus is in the resurrection. Amen. The whole people right now, ang uban na mga tao karon kadalasan sila, they are celebrating Semana Santa, katungod na pako si Jesus sa cross, tungod sa atong mga sala, kasaypanan, kasalanan, but he, they remain, remain on that position. Nagpabiling sila sa pag-ilangay ng anak lang si Jesus. But the greatest history in Christian journey is that our King is alive. Buhit siya. Busa inay mong katapad, igsoon, ang ginoong ay mong ginasimba. Buhit, dilig, patay. Amen. He is resurrected. He was resurrected. Our King is alive. This is why resurrection is all about Christianity is not about religion based on abstract principle. Pag sinabi natin abstract is actual, concrete. Hello? This is why the Christian is all about, Christianity is all about, is not based on abstract principle, but Christianity is a relationship with a living Savior. Adunay relasyon diya sa ato ang ginoo, sa ato ang Jesus na ginasimba. A Savior, sick me, Savior. A Savior, ang usa ka manuluwas igsuon, we can know atong mainhan a Savior who infuses our life and empowers us who transform us into His likeness. Walay sala, nagpakasala so that in Him makabaduntang righteousness that is life. That's the power of the resurrection. The power to have sins forgiven. Praise God. Palakangan na si Lord. Sa nagsangkayang na matayong Diyos, 
ipahamtang sa Dios kaniya ang kasalanan ihatag gilid ang silot nga angay nato sa tanan kanato aron kita maluwas ang makabato kinabuhin wala ikatapusan that justification from his resurrection amen it's the sanctification Kanak every day, kanak na facts, the resurrection shows that once and for all, Jesus sacrifice mo na ang necessary na nakabayad sa akong penalty sa akong sala, sa kuha o sa imuha. Kanak ang sacrifice, wala lang yung makabuhat kanak. Amen? We are all, God give us the power and even the power to have to, 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 to have sins forgiven. Amen? Musa gani, ang nalamig na may tip of advice, wala kayo siya sa online app din niya. Whenever Satan accuses you, if Satan accuses you, say, you could never be forgiven. Di ka mapasailo. What you have done, nung nabuhat ka nina, kahapon, hello, yun mo, kung nabuhat ka mo kahapon, nangyay agi, kung si Mana Santa pa yun, nabuhat ka gibuhat, si Mana Santa pa naman, di ka na mapasailo sa'yo. How think terrible you are. Kusay nga na yung binayimplant sa tuwa. But remember, all we can say, God gave us the power already. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead because we are justified having believed in Jesus. That's why in His eyes, we are righteous. Because of His resurrection. Amen. Amen. Second point is the power to conquer sin. Look at Ephesians 2.24. 4.24. Ephesians 4.24 But resurrection, ang resurrection, ang gawang sa resurrection, wala lang naghunong dito sa kapasailuan sa ato sa sala. Christ's resurrection also empowers us, only ang pinakadabes, to conquer sin. Amen! Woo! Muna ang pinakalindot na dahong na ako nailan, na gikil sa Biblia, na gihatag sa ato ah. Dili na kayo nung nakalingkawas ka sa sala. Kundi, makakangkar yung data, liwala sa tanahin yung nabuhat, makabnagi victory diha sa yung sala. Dili pa balik-balik ba? Familiar ba ka, anak? No? God give us the power to conquer sin. Mauni ang kanindot sa dahong. Dili lang makalingkawas ka sa problema. Dili lang ka makalingkawas sa utang. Dili lang ka makalingkawas sa sitwasyon sa pamilya. Hello? Ang greatest resurrection, punta ang makahibalo ka, naghihatag sa ginoo sa iyo, maoblabaw pa sa nakalingkawas ka sa iyo problema, ka nang nakalingkawas ka sa iyo sala. Amen. Ephesians 4.24, Put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Church in Christ, we are new creation. His spirit, ang iyang spirito na dinig ka nato, aligned in us, through us, and within us. We have been renewed. Hindi na tapat, renewed ka na kapatid. We have been renewed. We have a new self. And the purpose of that new self, ka na bago nga kinapuhin din mo, is not to conform to this pattern of this world, but to conform to the image of Christ. To become like Him. Sabi sa verse kini Jeremiah, truly righteousness, justification. Amen. To become like Him, truly righteous and truly holy. To become what God intends human to be, we need to be holy just like Him. So in this case, why do Christians keep on sinning? Bakit kaya? Bakit ako nakakasala pa rin? Bakit? Kano kano karon pa karon pa man sige magya kun tad kasala inalin ba dapat humi na nabitaw So kuno ay ka home kano na man dito sala kano ba buhat magya kun tad sala Paul give us the answers today Philippians in Philippians that second context na magya kun verse niyo ganina Sabi do because we don't know the power Amen Church in knowing There is empowering. Can I get some amen? amen? In no way, there is empowering. Kita mang good, nga nung makabuhat yan mong tagsala, tama naman ta sa pagkabalong na nakasala pa. Kay tama na po ta sa no way, nga makasala na po ta ugma, muna mabuhat yan mong tagsala. Na ay gahong na makabuhat ng sasala. Na ay gahong na makalingkawas sasala. Tayo na mga Christian, 
Ay, salamat Lord, I'm safe. And, salamat Lord, forgive me Lord. Buhat na kong ka. Ay, salamat Lord, salamat Lord, every time Lord, buhat na kong ka. Pero kung sige na kagpabalik-balik yung wala na mo na sabtan, nagitagaan ka gahom sa dino ng makalintawas ka ng asalan. You need to know that there is power. power. Inalagun ni mong katapad, we power. power. Gahom. We all have this power. But we continue to act as if we are weak. You know what, Christians? Sabi nga sa nabasa na kong libro, Christians always play as a victim. Is it true? Yes. Sa ato ang tanan, we play as a victim. Ah, Lord, ako lang, sa lakapod ko, Lord. Mawa lagi, Lord. Sige na lang, play victim ba? Ang mga napod sa, sa, you can't give me strength. Tomorrow, sa lakapod ka, ah, Lord, sorry, Lord. Sige na lang, victim Ah, may kasi mahiro na to. Hello? We continue to act. Sige na lang, tagpadayon, as if we are weak. But no, God gave us already the power in His resurrection. Why we are still slave to sin? Because Satan drives, drives us. Satan deceives us. Make, making us think that we are still his. Tama? Hello? May alis ba sa church? Satan tries to deceive us and he uses habit. Mga nagaling grains sa ato every year, every day. But church, God gives us the power to break those habits. Wala parang din si Lord. But we must first know that we have the power. That is why Paul has so much strong desire. I mean, kailangan makailag kita sa nanis kung kinsa si Lord. Kaya kung makailag ka sa gino, yan ka makailag kung makita kung ah, yung sa iyang gahom. Anis at ang pagkailag sa iya. Amen? Church, magsugod ka lang sa understanding. Kung nang di ka kalikawas, basit mo understanding, wala ka di ka kasabot sa gino. Kinsa si Lord. Kung kasabot ka, kung kinsa si Lord, then it will give you the strength to overcome temptation, to conquer sins. Can I get some amen? amen. amen. The third one is this, the power to be God's agent. Ano itong naibawan na ahit sa trabaho, pero dili, power to God's agent. Christianity is not just about forgiveness and overcoming sin. Christianity is not simply a solution to our problems. Ha? Kasahan kong good? Kailangan siya kumakang Christian ko para mawala akong problema. Kailangan siya kumakailang gino para mawala akong problema. Pero kinsan na sayo sa inyo, Adel, eh, sa dihan nga natin gino, mas the more pa ang problema. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ano ka rin po? Manigo yung Christian naman. Kung lang ito pagpangalabit. <laughs> problema kayo. Kautang-utang na inuunta. Tungo na, huwag pa kay gino, huwag pa kay kinatem. Pero kung nga na kay gino, mas the more na kamatem. Dali na kay kamakita. Ha, ah, baba, oy. Diba nga no, anak man? No? Because Christianity is not the solution of our problem. Ayaw magpa-convert, convert, para mawala ang problema. Madumagan pa uroy. Tama? But the good thing is that even our situation doesn't change, but it changes us. Nausab ta. Ang kalayaan na to, karon yes na tayo problema, pero ang kalayaan na to, yes na tayo ginoo. Amen. We can overcome the sin, we can overcome the problem because Christ resurrected and gave us the power and now we are God's agent. Amen. God has positive purpose in our salvation. Ang iyang pagluwas sa atuan na doon na ito'y lakit na purpose. He has determined that we are His agent to change in this world. Sabi nga niya po sa ito, di ba? Jesus says, you are the life of the world. Amen. Look at 2 Corinthians 5, 19 to 20. Sabi sa verse, we have committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ ambassador. We are Christ ambassador. <laughs> Listen very carefully. As though God were making His appeal. Wow. Appeal through us. Yan yung sabi ng scripture. A person, anong, anong ibig sabihin ng ambassador? A person who acts as a representative or promoter by a specified, specified activity. We are God's agent. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, sabi niya po sa my power, the power of God, Jesus, the power of Christ, made perfect in weakness. Isa gusto ana, kasi nung nawi, nawi-week na ngayon, <laughs> ang cute ng word na nawi-week, no? That is the idea 
that God shows His power through us by working mightily through us. Even though that we are weak, even though nga unworthy ka, even though nga dilita ka ngayon, but God gave us a new identity that we have the power and we are agent of God. In ang katapad din, you are ambassador of Christ. 2 Corinthians 3.18, we are transformed through His likeness. Increasing glory which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. That's why sa lahat ng mga ambassadors, tayo, ambassadors tayo in the Lord, tanahin na nagato sa gino, mo gini ang makita sa atua, the power, increasing glory. Amen? Amen. Adunay Himaya. Adunay likeness. Adunay image. Sige daw, sige ba yung matapan? Yes. Naay glory, naay likeness. Because that's the power of resurrection. Amen? In His likeness. Amen. Second to the last power is the power to conform to His likeness. Amen? Likeness. We are forgiven for our sin. Pasayod na, able to sin, appointed as an ambassador and perfected in His love. Second Corinthians 3.18 Transform in His likeness. It will be transformed and increasing glory. Pag matransform na gani, pag na transformation sa atong kinabuhi, na adyo na siya increasing glory. Papansin mo, talang na katupad ni mo, kailan ni mo, pag gibak mo sa ginoo, na yung himaya. Biskang sa physical. No? Pag gibak mo sa ginoo, ni guwapo. No? Talawan mga picture at mga yung people dito itong muna. Sige, throwback na ito na. Madagpong pa ayun. Sige, nagawa namin, maroon mag-criminal. Pa-apply mo po sa spiritual. Criminal na ito muna. Wala ta, di ba? Because of God, revealed. Wapo na ta. Di ba? Nai-increasing glory. Talawa. Pero ang tao na wala yung transformation, wala yung likeness sa gino, why glory? Tama. Nakana po niyo. Dagway pa lang, dagpong na. Tama ba? Pero pag maa-transform in His likeness, na-adjo ng increasing glory, hindi ka na siya sa physical aspect, but the character of Christ. Into His likeness. Amen? Church, ang inyong mga butang, hindi asa mo ba, pero bali nga gusto niyong mag-usap sa iyong likeness, you have tried to change, I believe God will deal you with those things. Amen? You are being made perfect creation. You are becoming like Jesus. Wala pa ka na ito si Lord. Transform in His likeness. That's the power of resurrection. Gitransform ka sa ginoong lihat sa iyahang likeness. The last number, the power is this. The power to overcome the devil and his kingdom. Amen. Ihatag sa ginoong sa ito. Philippians 2, 5, 11. Para masayid ito nga, wala ito tayo rason nga sige na tagkaulipon sa sala. Pagkitagaan, hindi po tayo gawin sa ginoo, not just to overcome sin, but to overcome the person who brings the sin. Hello? Pagkitagaan po tayo gawin sa ginoo para ma-overcome kung asa na binigay ka ng sala, kinsa na binagahatag ng sala, kinsa may nagasamot sa kong sala. The power to overcome the devil and his kingdom. Philippians 2, 5, 11, Apostle Paul declared, It was through his death and resurrection and Jesus was given a name above every other name. Sa tanang gingharian, He is the King above all kings. Sabi sa verse, and this means, tanawa, a power above every power. Power above every power. So tanang na adunay gahong daniya sa kalibutan, the scripture says and declare, Jesus was the main and name above every name. Unsa man ang gahom ni mo, sadak man na, iniquity sin, entangles, chain, your guiltiness, riches, desire, no? Ang fame, admiration, I tell you, Christ, the resurrection of Christ, gave us the power and the power that from His resurrection is above every power. Mona, na-remind mo ang katapat, labaw ang ginoo sa tanhan. Kung i-declare na sa Philippians 2, 5, 11, na ano mang yun? No? Na ano magpabilin pamanta sa pagkailang at ihak matatangan? Kung itagahan pa sa ginoo kahong para makalingkawas from death to life. Amen. 
Jesus gave us this power. Amen. Ang pagkasayod ni Ine, nga gahong, mahimo ka na to, sa paggamit sa atong katungod, na naatay otoridad. Kaya nga naman, ang otoridad, nagigan sa ginoo, sa ibabaw, labaw pa sa tanan ng kangit-ngit, o bilik na mahadlo kanila. We have the power from His resurrection. Can we give the Lord a clap of praise for that? Amen. See? Those things, five lang atong i-discuss. But your whole life right now, tanang kinabuhi ni mo karon, nag-reflect na, kung naan na karon, itungod sa ginoon. Amen. Of His resurrection. Amen. If we can't mention, oh, tanang pangabutan na kung saan ibuat niya through the resurrection, I tell you, Church, maabdan tag pila ka adlaw, kung si mana, mag-storyan ka, nagrabi ang ibuat sa ginoon sa tuwa. But just to conclude is this morning, look at yourself, look at your heart, and awal mong kaugalingon ka rin. That's the everyday that Christ, our King, is alive. Amen? Because for this time, we need to come to Him. Our King is alive. We have the power, the power from understanding, understanding to empower Him. Palakpakan na ito si Lord. Palakpakan na ito si Lord. Sige. Pagi ko sa mga palakpang ni Lord. Tignan sa mga mga taas ng pagbalak ng pagkakaw. Wala ka nga sa mga pagbalak ng pagkakaw. And you know, who gives me the power to overcome the sin, who gives me the power to be a God's ambassador. Come on, palakpak si mga lo. Because of the resurrected King, who gives me the power to confirm in His likeness. And because of the resurrected King, He has given me to overcome even His attempts at any power and beats. God gave you everything because He is resurrected. He was resurrected and He was to come. He will come. He will come back again. Take time right now to raise your hands, to close your eyes, and to pray. The meaning of Easter Sunday is not about tradition and ritual, but the meaning of Easter Sunday is that there was a king, there was a simple, ordinary man, but yet extraordinary, 100% man, 100% God, pure, blameless, and righteous, became slave, became slave, the immortal one became flesh so that we may know him na makailata na tungod sa iyang kinabuhi o nakita nato na gilayt tanan sa ginoo sa iyang tanan kapasaanan kasalanan ihatan niya tanan sa iyang bukto na anak na si Jesus Christo and God allows it to happen Tanang kasukot sa kalibutan, tanang kapungot o kabukatong na idala sa kalibutan, tungkol sa salat, iyang gilay tanan dito sa iyang bungto nga anak as a representative na mauto'y nagkuha sa tanang kabukatong o kapakyasan. Jesus resurrected. The death right now in Jesus' name, sama sa iyang kamatayon, ang imong kamatayon sa imong flesh. Ang kamatayon ni Heso Kristo sa Kalbaryo, ang kamatayon nato sa atong sala. O ang pagbanhaw sa atong tabihan na maayong ang inoon. When He resurrected, He remained pure for us to see na na maginaugon siya. Kung nahitabok ka niya, mahitabok sa mga nato. We are now transformed because there is power in knowing Christ Jesus, the resurrected King. This time, death is over. He tore the veil. He made a way. Death is over. Why not? Sakta mag-ampo ka. Tanang kamatayon sa mga ang ginabuhi ka ron. We talk about physically dead, spiritually dead. Mentally, we are deprived. Tanang ka na. 
ikapamatyan sa Ginoo sa kuha. Kung sa iyang pagkamatay, I tell you, church, there is hope in God. There is hope in God. He is alive. And even up to this day, He is alive to cleanse us. He is alive. He is alive of victory, gagawasan, to conquer the sin, to conform, not to the pattern of this world, but to conform in His likeness, in His image. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Everything that we need, God. Everything that we have right now, God. Thank you, Lord. That it's all about you, God. That you gave everything, everything to us, Lord. We can boast, God. And we have this confidence, God. That in you, Lord, there's always power. Power. Victory over our sin. Victory from death into life. From nothing into something. From darkness into marvelous light. From hopeless, having a hope, God, in you, Lord. From sadness into joy. From poverty into riches. From being slain, God, having no identity. Right now, God, we claim that we are your sons and daughters. power. Even today, God, you continue to revive us from the inside, God. Nung padayon ka, gino, sa pagbago sa mong kinabuhi. Thank you, Lord. Na imong kamatayon ang pagbihaan ka na mo. As in imong pagbihaan ka na sa mong kinabuhi, sa mong daan na kinabuhi. Ang among pagbihaan sa mong sa kasalanan ka sa biyatan. Because once and for all, you died for the penalty of our sin. Lord, we are so guilty. We are so convicted this morning. But thank you, God, that you remain not defeated. You overcome the world. You overcome us, God. This time, Lord, as we repented sa mga sala, ginunga mga buha, sa mga pagkaulipon sa sala, among i-celebrate among ihata ng mong kinabuhin, among, i- among i-declare, Father God, this morning, what you have done in our lives. The transformation, the change, God, is the same power from your resurrection. Thank you for the new image. Thank you for the new life, the eternal life, and even up to this day, God. Salamat, Lord. Nabuhit me, kay buhit ka. Na naghulat me, kay mo balik ka. Na nagpaabot me, kay faithful ka. Na nagpatayon ni Timohan sa iyo. Kay mo nagpatayon ka sa pagigugma ka na mo. God, all we have right now, church, your hands, your hearts, your life, this is the message of resurrection. Respond to the power. Respond by giving your life to the Lord. Hallelujah.